Hey YouTubers, just wanted to show you a QSO I just had um, to South Africa. Really nice contact. I've been kind of working the bands all day and it's the only contact I've had. And so I'll take it. Uh, let's just look at how far this fellow is away from me. On uh, Google Earth here. That is quite a long ways away let's have a look exactly where he is here that's him and way around the world spinner you get to me and I'm kind of just outside Toronto. Zoom in here a bit. And you can see where I am. So yeah, uh, great contact on uh, JT65. I recorded the uh, QSO, so you're gonna be able to see that coming up. And uh, let's have a look at his QRZ page. I've worked this guy before. I recognize it. I recognize him. So that's uh, Jeff. Is his name Jeffrey? And uh, this guy has a lot of certificates. I mean, look at the size of my scroll bar. It just goes down and down and down. This guy's got a lot of awards. And yeah, I recognize the, the off-roading. So, uh, uh, now he doesn't uh, have me in his logbook here. Okay. So let's uh, go and have a look at the actual QSO itself. Caught it kind of uh, midstream. And, uh, but you can see what a JT65 JT QSO looks like. So I sent out a CQ. If you look at the uh, right hand side, that's kind of the back and forth. Um, I think he's in, um, with the orange is when he is sending. Oh no, I guess I, uh, answered a CQ from him. Okay. And, uh, there you see my, um, Flex 6300 in the background. And yeah, I'm running more power than I should, I know. Um, don't bother to comment. I wanted to make sure I got the contact, so I boosted it up to about 50 watts or something. Normally I do not run that kind of power. So, um, uh, like I said, I had no contacts otherwise today. So I just wanted to get this good one and be done with it and uh, not um, clobber anybody else. So I took it and ran. So when you see the uh, green percentage bar progressing on the bottom there, that is uh, the signals coming in and it takes one full minute for uh, that to reach 100%. And then you'll see um, the program decode and then his last message will pop up in the right hand side. So it should come up any second now there's the decode and so what you do then is um, I double click on that message and this software automatically knows what to send next so there's no typing involved with this uh, software you basically um, double click the guy's last message and it automatically formats the uh, corresponding next um, item to send because you have to shake hands you have to uh, send signal reports both ways and then 73s basically and uh, that's your contact um, and got it in the log and uh, I don't know does, do, do you guys want more videos on how to do JT65 do you want more videos on other digital modes um, and, um, let me know in the comments if you've got any requests and I'll be happy to uh, 
see what I can do. So, uh... That's uh, going to be the end of that QSO there. Yeah, let me just zoom out here so you can get a better picture of uh, where we are on the 40 meter band. Very thin slice of bandwidth just above where uh, PSK 31 would be. 